Hello everyone, that manga kid here to give my full series review of After the Rain by Jun Miyazuki. He, uh, this is a five two-in-one omnibus series put out by Vertical. So in Japan, it was ten volumes long. Um, it is finally finished. I did do a first impressions video of the two, uh, the first two omnibuses. Must have been last year or whenever they had first come out. Um, and I vaguely remember what I said in that video, and I'm sure that my thoughts are going to be quite similar because this series from start to finish was quite consistent. Uh, it is, if you don't know anything about this series, about the girl on all five of the covers here, Akira Tachibana. She is a 17-year-old girl, high school girl, who is working at a family restaurant. And she is in love with or has a very large crush on her 45-year-old manager, uh, Kondo. And he is on the back of the first volume here. Uh, 45 years old, kind of dorky. Um, he is the manager of a family restaurant, divorced, has a kid. Uh, he's not very successful. And so she's completely enamored with him and not shy about her feelings at all. She makes it very clear to him that she's in love with him and wants to be close to him and get to know him better. And he is like really confused why this very attractive and, you know, could be very successful young girl is interested in him at all. Because he just, he has really low self-esteem because he had all these dreams as a young person of becoming a writer and he still writes a little bit but he's not confident about it and he doesn't really do it often anymore and, you know, he had all these hopes and dreams as a young person but now he's just working some dead-end job that he's never going to get a promotion from and doesn't really do much in his life, honestly. <clears throat> and so Akira, our main character is passionate about running. She used to be on the track team and unfortunately due to an injury ended up not being able to run anymore and after her surgery you know she has now kind of tried to stifle her love for running by being obsessed with going to work and seeing her manager who she has a crush on. And so this story is really really about two people who are in very different points of their lives, one's 17 and one is 45, and feeling kind of envious of each other and, and um, trying to navigate through this time of their life. And for her, it's being a young person whose kind of passion, the rug was pulled out from under her, and now she doesn't know how to you know, communicate with her friends from the track team anymore. She doesn't know how to continue going on in her life when this part running, this big part of her life, is now gone. And so she's trying to fill that void. And it's very heartbreaking. It's very, it's a very melancholic kind of story because you see Kondo, the manager, you know, watching her life and being so envious of her life because she's still young and has all of this promise and potential and he feels like he's at a dead end and that he's not gonna, that it's too late for him. And so he keeps having these flashbacks of his younger days and what it would have been like if this girl had had a crush on him when he was in high school. It would have been a completely different story because he's an adult. He's her boss. He understands that it is not appropriate to lead her on or reciprocate feelings or whatever the case may be. Um, but this story, you know, at the heart of it is a story about growth. It's a story about, about change and growing up and learning from other people around you that not everything has to be done alone. And it's really, really beautiful. And you get... Um, she is in high school, but most of it takes place at this family restaurant because that's, they're the two main characters. You get to see her co-workers and a bit about their love lives and, and 
different things they're struggling with. Um, you get to see some of her friends from the track team, her close friend in particular, who is just struggling to connect with her anymore because this thing that they shared running is now not relevant anymore. And so how do you talk to somebody when all you used to talk about your whole lives is running and how much you love it? How do you talk to someone now who can't run anymore? Um, and is that all their friendship was, was because they both liked running? Uh, and it's very fascinating and it's very beautiful. And you get to see Kondo's friend from college. I love that particular part of the story is Kondo kind of seeing himself in Tachibana in terms of, like, he sees how she's behaving due to her injury and not being able to run, and he's kind of like, well, all you have to do is you know, start over and, 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 and practice again and get back into it. But then he's realizing, wait a second, like, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the same thing. I'm avoiding and trying to push my feelings down and not, you know, do the things I'm passionate about because I'm scared. And it's a really, really beautiful kind of look at the similarities between these two and how they feed off of each other to kind of try and get their lives back on track and I wouldn't say this is entirely not a romance because there's definitely you know the whole point of the story is that she's in love with him um, and then there is some romance side stories between like the side characters and stuff um, that are that are quite cute as well and so I wouldn't say this isn't a romance but it is definitely more so a story about people and a story about, you know, resilience and trying to move on and, and continue things that you're passionate about and to not be afraid to stumble. And it's, it's so well done. I love this series so much. I read every volume pretty much as soon as it came in the mail. I had them all pre-ordered. Um, and, and then as soon as they would come, I'd read them within a couple days, uh, of getting it because it was so, so well done. Um, the art, there's lots of really beautiful color pages in all the volumes. Um, and the art is really fascinating. I enjoy it quite a lot. I think it suits the series really well. Um, the character designs are really beautiful. There's there's quite a bit of comedy. It's kind of, uh, you know, the dorkiness of the boss is really quite comedic. And her very stoic kind of personality, but she's also kind of, um, like, she's seen as very stoic and put together and quite standoffish. But she's actually just this dorky, like you know, she's got this crush and she's so cute uh, and she's very blushy and, and ridiculous, but but nobody sees that side of her. Uh, and it's it's just really fascinating to me. And, and the, the side characters are wonderful and it's so well done. I highly, highly recommend reading After the Rain if you have not tried it out. Um, this is one that a lot of people get worried about because of the age gap situation. And honestly, it's done really tastefully. Um, and this story really isn't about that. It isn't really about like this age gap romance. That's not what this is. Um, it's really about growing and changing as a person and finding yourself no matter what age you are. Um, and it's people helping out people, whether they know that they're helping someone else or not. Uh, and it's done really beautifully. And I highly, highly recommend checking it out. The ending was, was really good. And I think realistic, this felt like a real story. It felt like real people dealing with real issues and, 
Um, even though I'm not a 17 year old girl and I'm also not a 45 year old man, there were, I think there's something in this for everybody to kind of pull from their own lives and realize that they may be behaving, be, may be behaving in a similar, similar way or trying to cope with something in a similar way or trying to, you know, push down feelings in a similar way to, to avoid being hurt. And what I really enjoyed about this was how like straightforward Tachibana is when it comes to her feelings for, for Kondo. Uh, she's not being honest with herself about other parts of her life. And I, I, on, I, I believe she's projecting, uh, trying to have some control over her life by sticking every, all of her eggs in one basket in terms of just going after her manager in a romantic sense. But I find it kind of fascinating how upfront she is with him about her feelings and she's not apologetic at all which I thought was was very funny the way that it manifests uh, in the series but uh, I just kind of like I'm not rooting for her because I didn't want them to be together and I didn't want them to to have anything happen but on some level I'm like I'm kind of in your corner because she's so straightforward about it and so non-apologetic it was it was very entertaining and kind of refreshing honestly uh yeah it's a really beautiful story i highly recommend it um if you like slower paced sort of very much character driven uh just self-discovery sort of stories this is definitely one for you beautiful art beautiful color pages only five volumes omnibuses uh yeah, very, very well done. I'm so happy we got this. The anime was also fantastic, which is why I knew I would love the manga. Um, the manga obviously goes much farther than the anime did into the story. But yeah, highly recommend checking out After the Rain. If you've read it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, if you have any questions about it, for sure, leave them down below in the comments as well. Thanks for watching.